everyone welcome back to my channel so me and chris went on an ikea shop yesterday and picked up a few bits so i just thought i'd run you through what we picked up it doesn't actually look like there's that much here but the trolley was literally filled to the brim so i'm just going to take you through what we got most of it's still in boxes but i'll try and show you it up during the clips if that makes sense so yeah it was really busy really stressful would not advise taking your baby to ikea but it's fine it's done so yeah i'm just gonna run you through the bits that we got most of it's like lampshades and bits and bobs there were some bits we couldn't find because you know it's a bit of a mess in ikea at times and trying to figure out where everything is once you've gone around and looked and picked and then go and check it to pick it up yourself it was a bit overwhelming but we did it we won't be going back probably for a long time <laughs> so yeah i'll just run you through the few bits we did get so first of all we picked up this salmon bath towel <laughs> um chris chris actually picked the color so i just went with it but it's really nice to be fair it's a really nice color we have one of these in gray already in our bathroom that we've had for ages and it's lasted really well and it washes up really well so i thought i'd get another one of them just as a fresh one even to go in the family bathroom it would look nice with the color scheme i think it was like seven pound so not massively cheap for bath stuff for a bath mat as you can go to B&M and get like a set for six pounds or something but really nice and I know they last and they wash up really well so yeah we got one of them next I picked up another toilet brush I picked up two the other day but we've obviously got three toilets in this house so I needed another one and I picked up the other two from home base they only had two of the ones I like so I then picked up this one I mean it's just a bog standard I mean it's yeah it's white and it's just a bog standard toilet brush you know you know I mean a white ends a bit of a daring colour isn't it to go for but here we are I think it was six pounds happy days so yeah we got one of them because we needed one we also picked up a couple of these hand towels from the bathrooms it's like a nice yellowy creamy yellow chris also picked this one he obviously likes color at the minute but it looks really nice also with the tones of our bathrooms and then i also picked up this one which i, I picked really nice it's like a waffle material on one side and then soft on the other well it, the waffle's still soft but just another smart hand towel for the downstairs toilet where people see it a bit more i just thought they were nice because we've had the same hand towels for ages so i thought we'd get some fresh ones next i picked up a load of these boxes we tried to get go into in the playroom get like the generic you know square storage unit but we went to pick it up and we couldn't find it or it was sold out i don't know so but i managed to pick up these boxes to go in it and then i'm going to go to home base and pick one up because it's exactly the same home base i just think it's about 10 pound more than the ikea one but you know that's fine so yeah, I picked up these boxes. We got eight because they were gonna go for the eight one. I just got that polka dot colour and then just a plain beige tone. I think these ones were about two, three pound or two pound fifty or something like that. And then these ones were like three pound fifty per box. So yeah, I mean they're not massively cheap when you buy an eight, but in home base they were like nine pound each. Um, they did have some cute ones in home base they were a bit cheaper but I just thought while we were there we will get them next I bought this 
I bought this bed set. I thought that was nice. I'm really beige, haven't I? In a king size. It's just, just, yeah. This was £27, which is really cheap for bedding, to be fair. I bought a Mrs. Hinch one from Tesco the other day. It was like 40 quid. I mean, I don't know the quality massively. I have had an Ikea bed set before and it, it was fine. It was really nice, to be fair. So I just thought £27. My room is really white, so this might like add a bit of patterny but calm pattern to it. Next, uh, we bought a lot of lampshades. We have a lot of bare bulbs in this house and I'm not a fan of a bare bulb. So, bought some lampshades. First one, I got was this one, that bird KG. Chris wasn't a massive fan, but does that matter? No. <laughs> so I get this one it was like 15 pound really lovely I think anyway I'm not sure exactly how to hang it up I think you have to like spin the, the wire around there but I just thought pretty much in any room that will look nice so 15 pound which I thought was a bargain next we bought two of these oh. Two of these. Was even, I couldn't remember how many lights we needed for the hallway and the bar and the kitchens area. So we just bought two. I think these were twenty pounds. And I just thought that is so nice. And it had like a warm bulb in it, and it just looked really, really lovely. Handmade quality, apparently. So yeah, I just we just both really like them. It looks quite clear, but it's actually a bit darker in real life. you'll get a little shabby hands on it oh and this one a little out of the box is really nice okay i can't really see what it looks like but it's basically this pattern it's like a white paper lamp shade light shade and it needs to be put together over 30 pounds to be honest it was quite cheap but it comes packed so it's like a strange sort of sausage i feel like i shouldn't have started this now but here we are um, so yeah you i mean you get the gist it's actually not paper, it's actually plastic. Oh look, and it's got like, these little clips that it clips onto, so that's good, I guess. I must just wedge these in. Oh, that's very easy, IKEA. Good job. <laughs> Lampshade we picked up looks like this. This was another Chris pick. I wasn't convinced Honey liked it, but he really liked it. So the man wants to know and get. So yeah, it's like a creamy, obviously. Fairly easy. As far as putting stuff together, guys. Oh, right, last one. Okay, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit tight. The old Velcro. Lampshade, 
light shade, whatever you want to call it. Next thing we picked up were these little cushion covers. I thought they were a really nice, light colour pattern. Got some pillow infills. These say they're 50 by 50. The pillow said they were 50 by 50. Let me just show you. I mean, there's some baggage. There's some serious baggage going on in the corners. But I mean, they're comfy. They work. So we've got them on the new sofa. I managed to pick up three covers, but only two pillowcases. So I think I'm going to redo some of my old pillows from the old house. And put them in here. So they can go on the sofa as a three. I don't know how I managed to pick it. I didn't realise to the end. So I just bought it. I just thought it's going to get used. The last thing we picked up from Ikea was this coffee table. It was £199. It's just a really, really nice coffee table, I think. It's, it's actually quite a big size coffee table. But I love the glass. I mean, it's going to be a nightmare to keep that clean. It really is. But, you know, and you can put like nice displays in there is my aim. But it'll probably just get filled with rubbish. Just looks nice in this room, I think. So, yeah, that was £199. Chris's brother and wife kindly put that together for us last night, which was nice of them. And then I finished off and did the draw this morning. We saw it on the, last, on the way out and we just impulse bought it. I bought a couple more home bits from different shops as well. I got this, picked this up from Primark the other day, yesterday. There's a Primark right near Ikea. It was £10, but I just thought, how cute is that for the playroom or Bonnie's bedroom or the nursery? Actually, it's really cute. It's like a wicker rainbow. Really cute. £10, which I didn't think was bad. Just really lovely. I also picked up this from... B and M. It's like a wicker lidded basket, just to store some few more bits in. I originally got it for one of the bathrooms, but we didn't really need it in the end, so I'm just using it in the hallway for just bits and bobs. It was fourteen pound, but I just thought it looks really nice. It goes with the house decor. Obviously, I'm going for a bit of a wooded theme. And then I also picked up these from the bathrooms. They were six pounds, just little wooden from B and M, just little wooden holders for like smellies. I have so much bathroom stuff, so I just thought I'd pick up. I think I got two of these, um, and they just and they're a nice size. You just to put like bits and bobs in, even like toilet roll or something. But yeah. Six pounds, I didn't think was bad at all from BM. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've bought so far. That's all that we got from Ikea, and then a couple of little extra bits that I've been picking up along the way. So, I mean, it's a long, slow process filling up the house with nice stuff that I'm trying not to fill with basic rubbish. But we've only been here a week, so it's a slow process. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and there'll be a lot more hauls home hauls, home videos, baby hauls, baby videos. Not much going on pregnancy wise. I'm 32 weeks pregnant, so we're getting there. I'm gonna do a hospital bag probably in the next few weeks. So I'll probably do a vlog that, or video that, going out to buy all the stuff, endless lists of stuff. That's all, really. I do might do like a house update video in the next few weeks to just like see what it looks like with furniture in it once we've filled it up a bit more and bought a few more bits um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch up with you soon <laughs>